Well, that that's that's uh, sh that. Welcome to that's a shitty, a shitty, but not bad loss. Not a bad loss, but also a really shitty way for the Broncos to lose to the Chiefs on Monday Night Football. I decided to go live after the game since uh, I didn't live stream during the game, and I'll do a full. I'll have a full review up uh, up tomorrow. But uh, I just wanted to, us to to share in our misery together. Together we can cry about what the fucking Chiefs just did to the Broncos on Monday Night Football. Uh, what do we got coming in here? Lots of questions, lots of chats. They're they're so fast I can't even read them. But this is what happened. Okay, the Broncos played a, a very good football game. I didn't expect the Broncos defense to play as well as they did, and they kept the di they kept the team in the game all the way into the final seconds. Uh, you know, however, with the Chiefs backed up on a second and thirty, the Denver defense could not get Kansas City off the field. So that was that was an issue. That's something. Uh, that's the difference between what you saw in 2015 with the Broncos' dominant defense and, you know, what we saw tonight. They had a great game all around, uh, and then when you needed them to make a play, they just weren't able to do it. Also, Kareem, Kareem Hunt had a, a big night, 121 rushing yards, I think. So it could have been a little better against the run. But for the most part, I thought the Broncos' secondary did a great job at uh, – not letting the chief do to do what they did to all other teams that they've played this season so far. Uh, then, okay. The Broncos get the ball back with a, a minute, 40 seconds left down by four. And they drive, they drive down the field. They get a huge play to Jeff Hireman. Uh, Keenum completes a pass to Jeff Hireman. They, they are 30, 35 yards, 28 yards away from the end zone at this point. Right. And case Keenum has, Demarius Thomas open down the sideline and he just, he, he, he fucking overthrows him. He just overthrows Demarius Thomas. And, uh, that, that would have won the game for the Broncos. Uh, Booker didn't do well pass blocking and swag time. Never not fill super chat. Uh, I'll get to that, but thank you for the super chat chat. Never not fill. Um, case Keenum's miss to Demarius Thomas is, that's an example of what separates a very good NFL quarterback from a good quarterback or just an average NFL quarterback. You can't, you can't miss those throws, especially when the game's on the line right there. Uh, that's when a great quarterback's going to make the throw every single time. And, uh, you know, watching Keenum, watching the offense, it looks pretty good. Uh, but I felt like the, the Broncos, intentionally kind of limited Keenum's downfield throws in this game. Uh, I think they thought they could have more success with short passes. Uh, the Broncos running game was great. I mean, Royce Freeman, I thought Royce Freeman was the best offensive players for the Broncos. Uh, what did, let me look at his, where's his average? Oh yeah. 8.4 yards per carry on eight carries for, for Royce Freeman. He just was not going down the first uh, on the first tackling attempt. Uh, and he and Philip Lindsay both scored a touchdown. And when the Broncos running game is working, the offense uh, is working pretty well. But what they kind of miss is those big dynamic plays. Uh, they did have Hireman, uh, you know, at the end of the game there. But it's kind of like I think it just feels like Case Keaton is just going to be a good enough quarterback at this point. Like, we watched him do some very impressive things last year in Minnesota, and I thought he played a, a mostly a decent game, but it wasn't anything special like we saw on the other side of, uh, of the field, right? So that's kind of the the conundrum you're in as the the Broncos coaches. It's like, what do you do knowing that he might just be a guy who's good enough, like? The, there's a real there will be there will be real questions about when. When Chad Kelly can go in, I don't know. Um, but I was mostly disappointed with that that missed throw. That was huge. 
That's what like is seared into my fucking brain right now. I took notes. I'll have a full video review of the whole game tomorrow. Now, Patrick Mahomes is fucking Patriots fans very soon. Okay. We are, it is competitively, it, it's fun for the rivalry. Tonight was a great Monday night football game. Um, but Mahomes looks like he is going to be a problem for a long fucking time. <laughs> I mean, a long time. Three hundred four yards, one touchdown for Mahomes, but that's not really the story. What you saw is even when pressure got to Patrick Mahomes, he made plays. Like the play is never dead with Mahomes. He's uh, he's kind of like Aaron Rodgers in that way, except I think he's more athletic than Aaron Rodgers. Like he's faster than Aaron Rodgers and he's got just as good of an arm and he is just as accurate. So what the Broncos, what teams are going to do about that? I don't fucking know. Also, if you're, if you're here, like this fucking live stream for God's sakes, but uh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes, very impressive. Mahomes is a human uh, cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do think that the announcers were a little too, lovey dovey lovey dovey of patrick mahomes like every throw he made they're like oh that was another amazing throw by patrick mahomes it's like it was a fucking screen pass man uh let's see vince march super chat bad d calls man to man on second and 25 in the in the fourth i don't know like i thought i thought schematically the broncos coaches did the best they had the best game game plan that they've had all season they're the first team to keep the Chiefs under 30 points. Um, yeah, I think, though, when, when you have a, a, an offense backed up on second and 30, you just got to stop them. And Mahomes made a play. There was pressure. He extended it, and a guy got open. Now, you could argue, yeah, maybe the Broncos shouldn't have been man. Maybe his zone, there would have been, you know, a, a way for a guy not to get open like that. But I don't know. I just think... Overall, I thought the Broncos played better than I thought they were going to, and that's a good sign. I think the Bron that means that Broncos defense can hang with any team. The secondary played much better. Uh, all, of, but I mean, Travis Kelsey was nowhere until it mattered, and then all of a sudden he has seventy-seven yards and a fucking touchdown. And Demetrius Harris, one big play uh, late in the game. So it's a matter of stopping the team in the fourth quarter. The Broncos offense in the second half, you would like to see a little bit more out of them. And uh, there was a lot of talk about the hook and ladder, ladder play at the end. You know, it, it, it's whatever. It's like if they would have made it, it would have been brilliant. Uh, but they didn't. I like that they tried something there. Uh, so it's that's a tough call. McManus, perfect. Brandon McManus having a hell of a season. He is finding the gooch and not missing at all. Um, I'm trying to think back on other things. Not bad D all game, just fourth wasn't good, I feel. Thank you, Vince March. Yeah, the, the de defense played like three solid quarters of football. In the fourth quarter, when you have a quarterback who, even when you're about to sack him, he gets away and makes throws. And that's the thing. Like Shane Ray stumbles. If, stay, if Shane Ray doesn't fall, the Broncos have a sack early in that game. The Chiefs hurt themselves with penalties, too. The Chiefs gave the Broncos some favors on defense. Um, but I think it was the, the, the play where Von Miller hit Patrick Mahomes, and he switched the ball into his other hand and threw it to fucking Tyree Kill for a first down. That was a third down play, and he switches it to his left hand while getting hit? That's insane. That's an insane play. And then... Uh, I forget which Chiefs defender had the interception on Case Keenum. Luckily, the Broncos stopped the, the the Chiefs on the next drive. But that interception was incredibly impressive too. He just ripped the ball out of uh, Royce or uh, uh, Jeff Hireman's hands. So you know, one tremendous play from the Chiefs defense. The Broncos offensive line had trouble uh, protecting the edges. Jared Valdir went down with a knee injury, but I thought Billy Turner did a better job in for Valdir. Uh, and Keenum, kind of the same story happens every week. He just holds onto the ball a little bit too long. It feels like Case Keenum doesn't know when he's about to get sacked. So uh, that was another issue. Um, 
DT ran a perfect route. Cannot believe Keenum overthrew the guy. Yeah, that's the thing. Keenum overthrew DT to win the game. But the Broncos shouldn't have been in that position. They should have won. They had that. They played better that whole game, basically, and let it slip away at the end. But you got to be. They played. The Broncos played better than they did last week. We didn't think they were going to win this game, but then they tricked us into thinking that they were going to win this game. And that stings. Is Mahomes going to be a problem for the next decade? Thank you for the super chat. I think he is. The only thing that's really going to stop Patrick Mahomes right now is a fucking injury. And I'm not wishing on wishing that on him, okay? It's not Tom Brady level yet, but he is going to be annoying. He is going to be very annoying for Broncos fans. What questions do we got in here? Mahomes knew it was past the line of scrimmage. Okay, yeah. So, it was a play that uh, could have been called for delay a game. Clock hit zero. Should have been called. It didn't. You're going to get a, a play like that's going to happen. You're going to get fucked once a game by the refs. You just got to expect that. The line of scrimmage play, I need to look at again. Um, because if any part of your body is touching the line of scrimmage, you're fine. So I need to go back and look to see if his whole body was over the line of scrimmage when he, when he threw that ball in the red zone. So there was two bad calls, maybe. I don't know about the line of scrimmage one. Uh, let's see here. Marquette King didn't, ha didn't have great punts again. That's a little troublesome. Come on, sweeter the question. That's good. What does it feel like? They're doing well in spite of Keenum Vance. If they're doing poorly, it's because of them. Why does it feel like if they're doing well, it's in spite? I think that's you projecting. I thought the coaching, I thought the coaches did a good job. I thought the coaches had the Broncos ready to play this game. I thought the game plan was good. You can nitpick plays from any game, but they gave the Broncos a chance to win. Um, I think Case Keenum's got to be better than, uh, what is it here? Case Keenum's got to be better than 245 yards and one interception. And I'm not saying that interception was even his fault, but that's just kind of the reality of it. What else? Man, the, the questions are so fast. I can't read them. Run the ball, Royce, instead of passing. Yeah, that's an option. I mean, Royce Freeman was just busting, as Marshawn Lynch says, he was hitting motherfuckers in the face. And if you do that, they're not going to want to tackle you. Uh, but also Kareem Hunt was hitting motherfuckers in the face too. So Kareem Hunt, that that really, Kareem Hunt's big plays, I think, really hurt the defense more than anything. Uh, there was that missed face mask on uh, Devontae Booker too. They should have called that. I can't remember if that affected anything. But maybe, I mean, you've seen all the other young quarterbacks go in, right? Rosen's in now, Mayfield's in, Mahomes is lighting it up, uh, Darnold's in, uh, they're all in. So like maybe, maybe you just see what Chad Kelly is. Because unless we see something true in case soon, you gotta, you got to try. Quarterly grade for case so far, I would say a C. I'd say a C. Because in the two wins, he led fourth quarter, you know, fourth quarter drives he's not going to get rattled the game's never going to get too big for case keenum and that's what you like about it but he's not always going to make dynamic plays and he's going to throw some balls that could be intercepted before he missed that throw to dt he uh threw a ball that should have been intercepted by the chiefs you know what i'm saying like before he lost the game by missing the throw to dt he lost the game by throwing a ball into the chief's hands uh, Garrett Lind with the super chat. We are one elite QB from being a one elite QB away from being a special team. Yeah, you could argue that about almost every team though. Tonight should give you faith that the Broncos can have a decent season. I don't know what their record will be, but uh, they can compete. It's just unfortunate that they let Mahomes do this in Denver. The crowd noise was affecting their offense. Uh, so big shout out to Broncos country that was there. It was not easy for him. It was not easy for him. Although he made it look stupid easy. 
His arm strength is insane. He's got he's got the accuracy of Aaron Rodgers, the arm strength of well, you could say Aaron Rodgers too. And he's like he's he's mobile. It just sucks to see how good he can play. Let's see here. Praying for 13 and 3 or 11 and 5. Which team? The Broncos? <laughs> Keep praying. Very hard. Uh, what do I think of Vance? I don't think Vance is an elite head coach. But I thought he did a good job of getting the Broncos prepared for this game. Again, I've said that a bunch of times now. I thought he they I thought the coaches did a decent time, decent job. Uh, stupid play calls. The refs piss me off. Six and ten. Hello, Hunter. Did you see Kareem Hunt get flipped off by the fan when he scored? No, I did not see that, but I will look. Any comments on Bowles? Bowles is average. He's just an average tackle, and the Broncos should have taken Ram check. Quit saying Case lost the game. DT slowed down. That no, it was a bad throw. He overthrew him, and the ball is out of bounds. How weird is it? UFA are the best backs this year. The un free uh, the undrafted free agents are the best backs this year. Running backs? Uh, well, I think Phil. I think Royce Freeman was great tonight, and he was drafted. But yeah, Philip Lindsay looking great. D the DT wasn't going to catch that ball because it was not a well thrown ball. You guys can blame DT for you, all you want on that. And if I look at it tomorrow and see something different, I will correct myself. But uh, Keenum didn't give DT a chance to catch it. He did a little – you're complaining about Demarius Thomas stutter step? He, he put a move on the guy covering him to get open. The quarterback puts that ball where his guy's going to catch it. That's all there is to it. That wasn't DT's fault. Travis Kelsey was amazing. No, he looked like shit for three quarters of the game. And then he was amazing. He was amazing when he needed to be, which sucks. I hate Travis Kelsey. I love his brother, though. Jason, Jason Kelsey, hell of a guy. What the fuck didn't we have Lindsay out there? Brandon, when we get porn. Sorry, what'd you say? Porn? Yeah, you should probably watch porn tonight. Keenum isn't terrible. Vance, he's a damn high school coach. I didn't say Keenum was terrible. Nobody's saying he's terrible. I'm saying he's not great. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, those are that's how I feel about this game. It is crushing. Felt like I got kicked in the nuts the way that ended. Because I didn't think the Broncos were going to win. And then they gave us a chance. They made us believe for basically three and a half quarters. And then the Chiefs took the lead. And then we had a chance to win it. It was right there for us. Then it was gone. It was ripped. Ripped from our bodies. Ripped from our souls. Uh, but, yeah, I'll do a recap on it tomorrow. And if I look at that DT thing again and feel differently, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty sure that's on Keenum. Uh, anyway, uh, fucking Chiefs 4-0. And they look pretty good, except their defense isn't great. And that's the thing. The Broncos often should have had more success against that Chiefs defense. They should have, uh, but they didn't. Maybe it is going to be Swag Kelly time this season, which I did not think was going to happen. I thought Keenum was going to come in and play great football. But now we're kind of seeing what uh, why Minnesota was willing to part with him. Uh, anyway, please like this video if you're still here. You can subscribe to That's Good Sports. I know all of you are already subscribed because you're watching this bullshit, but I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me vent a little bit. I do feel better. I do feel better talking into a camera with text that I know is people. And uh, anyway, that's the end. That's the end. We'll dive into this tomorrow with a lot of bad dick jokes. That's good sports way.